Today's review is of RC Racer at Disneyland Paris, specifically at Park Walt Disney Studios. This seems to be quite a forgotten ride and for good reason. It's definitely not noteworthy. <laughs> Which is why I'm excited to borrow some of your time talking about it. You're not a going anywhere. I've never really heard anyone give their opinion on this lad, but I can tell you one thing. The kids loved this thing. Maybe because they thought it was a really big toy. Who am I to tell? Nonetheless, today I'll give you my thoughts on this half pipe coaster at Europe's own Disneyland. Three, take it or leave it. RC Racer is an intimate surf rider. <laughs> Specifically, the RC Racer iteration, which is super convenient. It has two identical clones at Hong Kong Disneyland and Shanghai Disneyland. Asia only wanted to leave one for Europe, just like the Megalites. But there are other variations of this model as well, such as the Nickelodeon Universe installations, which also have spinning cars. But this version doesn't spin, and instead features one thick car. It's basically the coaster version of a pirate ship flat ride. The Modin. It opened in 2010 as the first of its layout, if you could even call it that, and it features features 20 riders over 5 rows in one car. The restraints are exactly the same as Intamin's older thrill coasters, meaning the hard boys, which feels odd on a family ride, but they're completely fine. It's 82 feet tall, which makes it the second tallest coaster at Disneyland Paris after Hyperspace Mountain. It's 269 feet long, nice, and it goes 49.7 miles an hour, making it the second fastest coaster at Disneyland Paris after Flight Force. It's got a ride duration of 43 seconds, which is the final length on paper, but as we'll get into later, a lot of that time is just padding. It's also got zero inversions, unfortunately, could have been a Larson loop, but it is what it is. Yo! The look of this ride is pure genius. The colors themselves just really stand out and I, I love the color scheme myself and it mixes so well in with the surroundings. The track basically looks like a Hot Wheels track and when you put that on this half pipe look it looks really freaking cool. And look at the happy car! Or confused, I can't tell. RC Racer just has a really cool off-road experience and it's really fun to watch. There's so many great colors and everything looks so cleanly cut. In fact, looking at it is low-key its best aspect. Got. So let's talk about the layout. Oh boy, this is gonna be complicated. This layout is so advanced, I don't even know if I can remember the feeling of all the elements. That's a lot of information. In all seriousness, ya boy starts out with a small five launch sequence, starting with a wee push forward and then rocking you back and forth like the cute babe that you are. Uh. Now, I'd like to say that these launches carry on Intamin's legacy of powerful acceleration, but RC Racer instead carries the bottom of my ranking of launches pretty hard. <laughs> The first two launches have pretty much no sense of longitude forces at all. You feel absolutely nothing. The third is like a very cute attempt to feel like a launch, meaning that you at least feel something. And then the final two do actually have a pretty clear sense of acceleration and are pretty fun, but still nothing compared to the majority of launches I've experienced. But the sequence itself is still fun of course, because you're launching, you're gaining speed. I love speed. <laughs> Going through the half pipe, you also feel a little bit of positive forces, although they're definitely not noteworthy, nothing to gray you out, nothing to really feel actually forceful, but you know, it's not force less. When you are at your top speed, you also go up into the beyond vertical spikes. Now, I'm not sure about what degree they are, but I would guess around 94-ish degrees. The thing about these spikes is they were incredibly disappointing. <laughs> I had pretty high hopes for these spikes, because I've had a lot of fun on spikes that aren't even vertical. These are beyond vertical, so I expected some pretty killer flow to airtime. Well, no, no. The spikes make you feel a tiny amount of weightlessness. Maybe the weakest floater you can possibly imagine, but that's about it. That's all, bro. They're fun because you go up high, and the look is fun, and the back and forth is fun. And yeah, it isn't completely rid of weightlessness. It is there. It's just underwhelming as hell. I'll tell you, you can more weightlessness drinking Red Bull. But the worst thing about this sequence is the fact that you only hit the top of the spikes four times. You spend more time launching and braking than actually hitting the peak of this ride. It's a super big killer before you hit the brakes, which is also of course very calm. You get a bit of rocking back and forth there as well, and then the ride stops. That's basically the layout for you. You don't get a whole lot of anything regarding forces. It's definitely a fun sequence, but let's talk about some of this stuff in pacing. It was perfect, but no, you just had to blow it up, you. 
than your pride and your ego. So the pacing is obviously great for the most part. It starts by going faster and faster, which builds anticipation until delivery. And then you're in Nirvana. Why are you here? Until it cuts off and leaves you completely unsatisfied. Basically, the pacing feels like taking a bite out of a burger and then dropping it. I understand it for the sake of capacity, it is Disney after all, and one train operations, they gotta get people through. But it also proves how 43 seconds isn't necessarily a long time, my dudes. Cause holy shit, does the fun just get cut off so quick. The biggest wastes of time? So this is the 13 year old coaster that goes completely straight. <laughs> I know some newer Intamins like to show off with how poorly their smoothness can age, but RC here is perfectly smooth. I mean, it's a straight line, it goes up and down, you will get no vibrations, no shuffling, nothing! It's glass smooth. Collect a different Hot Wheels car each day, 14 and all, at participating McDonald's. RC Racer is located in Worlds of Pixar. It's Buzz Boy. Specifically in the Toy Story section. I gotta get out of here. All of which is well completed. You really feel like a tiny person in this area, and the ride itself looks like a massive of Hot Wheels toy, and you're completely surrounded by theming. Everywhere you look in the area, but also just around this ride, there is some sort of toy thing. And even the foliage adds to it. It feels like a giant just plucked their toys down in the garden, and you're in there now. The queue line to RC Racer is like a racetrack itself, which is a detail I personally love. And there are also details in the queue line, like toy sets that you can assemble. And when the ride is going, you hear toy car sounds. <laughs> They did pretty much everything they could to actually make this ride feel like an actual massive toy car, and I love it. I love that car. I'd argue that the theming is what really makes this ride a great attraction, and it's generally genius for its type. I could of course also mention that they do play Pixar soundtracks throughout the queue line. So this ride completely nailed the theming. Room room. <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. This is a really cool ride, but the ride experience itself made me question the 45 minutes my sister and I spent in line for it. It's incredibly lacking for me for a ride. But the concept and the theming does make it a more fun experience, undoubtedly. I should also say, I think it manages to hit its target audience with a bullseye. Kids loved the shit out of this thing, including my sister who laughed her ass off through the entire ride, whereas I laughed for a different reason. <laughs> It's not a ride for me personally, and my final rating of it will be a 5.5 out of 10. It's not a bad coaster, it's just really not good either. <laughs> and I'll probably only ever ride it again if it has a line under 15 minutes. But looking away from my perspective, it's a highly enjoyed ride that the average visitor seemed to be thrilled by. People loved this ride when I was there. So definitely don't take my word for this being a shit ride. Go ride it for yourself, or something similar. That's been my review of RC Racer, so let me know what you think about these, or any half-pipe coasters, or pirate ships, they're pretty similar. Anyways, gotta go, bye!